Welcome to Applaud Tutorials. In this tutorial, we create a basic form block using an existing model. Before we jump in, make sure you've completed the prerequisite steps. These include creating a model and creating a page to host your form block. For a reminder on the prerequisite steps, check out our knowledge base content. In this example, we're using a model to store data for knowledge articles and have already created a page. To get started, select add content from your page. The content dialog box opens. Select form and assign it a meaningful title. In this example, we're using content from the Knowledge Articles template for inspiration. Select the model you want to use for this form. Then select Save. Choose the property fields you would like to carry over to your form. Deleting properties from this field does not delete them from your model. If you want to include properties from another model, Select Allow Related Models to be updated in the same form. Your additional model must have a foreign key property relating to this model or it won't appear on the list. We use this feature in the leave templates, including annual leave, to update the absence daily breakdown model when time off is requested. Using form interactions, we can hide and show fields and set values based on specific conditions being met. We cover this in the Interactions tutorial. Select Continue. You're now in the Design Form phase. You can get back to the previous phase at any point by selecting the phase icon. If you choose to make any fields invisible, you can clear their visibility from the build entirely by unchecking Show Hidden Fields. The order of your properties is determined by the order of your properties in the Choose Data section, and this is taken from the model itself. You can change this to improve the flow of your form for your end users. For illustrative purposes, select any field from your form. Now drag and drop it to another spot. This is the simplest way to reorder your form fields. You'll see a success message each time you do this. From this section, you can also edit your property fields and add more content. Check out our relevant tutorials for more information. Select Continue. You're in the additional configuration phase. Action buttons can be linked to any internal or external page to provide further guidance. We cover this in more detail in the Action Buttons tutorial. If you want to hide your block title from end users, clear the Show the Title and Header Bar field. This also removes your action button. Preferred width determines the span of your form across your page. Your choice may be affected by your page layout settings. Choose a background colour for your block, or skip the field to leave it white. As well as colour, you can control opacity. Control the visibility of your block with the Hide On field. You might use this feature if you're designing an alternative form block for different devices, like mobile phones. With the Hide or Show This block using Filters feature, you can determine the visibility of your block based on specific conditions being met. We cover this in more detail in the Filters tutorial. With Submission settings, you can change the Submission button and redirect your users to another page after submitting a form entry. We cover this in the Submission Settings tutorial. 
When you're happy with your choices, select Submit. You now have a basic form for entering data. You can link this form to other pages using primary actions and other action buttons. In this example, we can open it as a modal window from a custom dashboard page. Congratulations, you have successfully completed this tutorial. Learn more at Applaud Academy or check out our knowledge base at support.applaudsolutions.com.